वेलकम टू हैप्पीनेस ब्लैंकेट चैनल I had a coaching client last year say something that was incredibly wise. When he hired me, and in other words, I took him on as a coaching client, he said, "You know, Alex, the reason that I wanted to be your client is because I want to be where you are in a few years, and I know you did not get there by accident. You designed your life." And I thought that was extremely wise and spot on because the thing is, so many of us wake up when we're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 and realize. We don't even know why we got here or how we're here, and we know for sure that this is not where I wanted to be, where we wanted to be years and years ago. Now, in this video, I want to share my personal process I use for not only scripting the direction of your life, but how I reinvented my own life and consciously created it from 26 until 30. What's up, guys? Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. Now, in my own life here, really, I think that designing your life and making it go forward in the direction you want it to go forward has three parts. And the very first part is the design. The second part is the habits you use or you do on a daily basis, and the third is the follow through or the follow up. In other words, how do you actually stay on track when you get off track? Because half of the game of goal achievement is purely When you get punched in the face, what are you going to do differently to get back up and get back in the fight? Now, for me, the first thing is vision. It's basically the design. You know, if you just sit down for a day, you pour a coffee, you get out a piece of paper, and you write down what would be the coolest thing that could happen over the next five years in my life. If you just do that, you are already ahead of 99% of humanity who show up with no game plan. No vision for the future. No clue what they would like to create. Besides, you know, I would like more money, or I'd like that girl, or that guy, or I'd like a nicer car. There's almost no consciousness or conscious energy given to thinking about what do I want to build in the future. Like, what consciously and concretely do I want to improve? So for me, the way that I do that is, first of all, I have a journal where I'm regularly writing down updates for the kind of life that I want to build. You know, it starts with the vision. Which makes me think of the fact that the skyscrapers of New York started with a picture in somebody's head, and so did spaceships, and so did curing a difficult disease. And so when I think of it like that, I always make sure I'm consciously creating, even if it is just in my thoughts, even if it's just up there, both in print journals and in a document that I call Five Years from Today. So the three things that I use for my yearly envisioning are one, the yearly envisioning process I've talked about here. Which is basically at the start of each year, I write down what is the coolest thing that could happen this year. Like perfect year, no limitations, no just be realistic, but like what would be the coolest thing that could happen? I put it on one piece of paper that's always on my desk every single day, and I review it twice per day. Now from there, that yearly document also has my daily habits, the unique projects I'm working on in each quarter of the year, as well as the things I know that I need to work on. To get better, basically, to improve myself. The second thing is the pocket journal I carry around. This, for me, is always to record things that may change about my thinking, ideas I get when I read or listen to podcasts, as well as little intuitive hunches that come up. So, if I'm talking to a friend or I'm reading a book and I'm like, "Wow, that would be an awesome idea." For example, that's where all my books came from. Wouldn't it be cool too? Dot dot dot. I put it down in this little book. It's just a little three by five moleskin that I always carry around with me. And then day by day, I can flip through that and be like, you know what? These were those cool things I wanted to basically manifest and create in my own life. Let me just keep a note of them. The second way I do that is by doing a weekly journal page. Now, the weekly journal page is just a strategy page, which I talked about in my recent video on journaling for success. And in that strategy page, it's basically, where are you, Alex? <laughs> where do you want to be? And are those habits you're doing every day sufficient enough to actually get you there? So the whole point of this journal page is reflection. You're doing this. Are you still on track? If not, what has to change? And then finally, I have this little journal notebook, a digital notebook in Evernote, and it just says five years from today. Now I don't really stick with that idea of five years from today, but the point for me is 
where do I want to go? In what direction? It could be as simple as moving. Like I know I'm moving to California after I'm done with my doctorate in Portland. It could be as simple as the relationship you want to be in. For example, I'm 30. I know that I want to be married by 35. So I can have that there. I know that I want to have a private practice and a traditionally published book and three, four vacations per year. I put all of that down where I don't know how I'm going to make it happen yet, but it will happen for sure. I haven't quite flushed out the process. The point is that you're putting trajectories in your brain and in your subconscious. And when you check that every once in a while, you're kind of like, oh yeah, I knew I wanted to do that, but all right, let's start thinking about how I can actually do it. And almost all of those things come true for me, especially if you regularly review that. Now, the second piece here is your habits. So the daily action steps that you're going to actually do to make that a reality. Now, I've shared this philosophy many times. It may